What would you say to somebody who um, is hesitant to be a part of a diagnostic thinking group? Give it a try. <laughs> yeah. Give it a try, yeah. Um, I think um, I think this is a very uh, different program. It's very difficult to uh, make people understand the value of it unless and until you are part of that journey. It's my feeling, uh, Dina. Uh, as I said, that if anyone else would have come to me and explained about it, yes, I would have been interested, but would I have wanted to spend... Um, uh, 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 an hour uh, or would I have wanted to spend uh, even from the money perspective, right? I think that unless and until you take that plunge and have that faith, uh, it will be very difficult. So try it. Uh, I would just say that. Yeah, It will be a differentiator uh, in your personality. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. It's even hard from the person who developed it, you know, because I am so passionate about it. But what you just said, I think, is really powerful is that for anyone who's sitting on the fence, that diagnostic thinking is very unrealized until you jump in and get the yeah. most out of it. Right. But it is, it truly is an opt in, but you have to create that safe culture of trust with the group that you have, which that's all always very paramount is the first thing that we try to do is is to create that safe space so people can feel comfortable and sharing ideas and thoughts, which is a great leadership capability for everybody just to hold that space. So, um, Sonali, you're such a joy for me to mm -hmm. have known. I, I really hope and pray that it continues to grow for a lot of people. And I want to thank you for being on my journey to, to get this story out and sharing your perspective. I really appreciate it a lot. Okay. My pleasure. My pleasure. If I could have helped anything uh, for you, uh, uh, Dina, my pleasure. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So have a good evening. And uh, I'm you sure I'll see you. Take yeah. care. Bye-bye.